here's how I clean my capping station. So first turn on your machine. And then as soon as this carriage moves, um, go to the back. We'll wait for it to move. Go to the back and turn it off right away. So that way um, your print head will be able to move. So as you can see, my capping station's pretty full and pretty dirty, so we're gonna clean it today. Here's what I do. So I get hot distilled water and one of uh, these syringes. It could be any tip syringe. So I'll pour, I'll pour some in the capping station and then um, this is the waste ink tube. You could just extract from here. So what I do is I get a syringe and I just extract and then I pour it out. Then I get more of the hot distilled water, pour more into the capping station and extract. Keep doing this until, so as you can see, the liquid coming out, it's still black from all the ink in there. So I just keep repeating the steps until the water that's coming out is clear. So try again, still really dark. Look at that, pour that out, pour more. Some people, they use alcohol. Sometimes I use alcohol to clean, which I'll probably do afterwards, but the warm distilled water helps break down all the, um, all the ink build up in there. Let me use this syringe, pour more. Sometimes it's easier with two people because the other person can extract while the other one adds to the water. And Sometimes it's hard to get the ink out of the capping station, so you could also, um, here, let me show you guys. So just say that your capping station looks like that, and it's really hard to extract from the, ink, the waste ink tube. What I do is I syringe the water out until I can see the bottom, so that way it's easier to clean. And then I add alcohol or um, hot water. So, zoom in a bit. It's all the white ink build up right there. This is just regular distilled hot water. I just pour it and I'm extracting with one hand so it's kind of... Oops, sorry. So I'm removing all the liquid in there, just dumping it out adding more hot water until this is completely cleaned. Because when this ink hardens, it's gonna harden inside the tubes. And it's gonna cause a clog. So um, let me extract from the waste ink tank. So that's how it's extracting from the waste ink tank. And then you can see the water is getting kind of lighter. So we're almost done here. And just keep repeating the steps and this should help with the whites. Sometimes if the white is light, um, cleaning your capping station really helps with the white ink. So, repeat. So it's still pretty dirty, so I just keep repeating. Um, sometimes you can get like a Q-tip. So I just have a set of Q-tips over here with me. And once you extract the ink, you can just use a Q-tip to clean it from the capping station. So I just get a Q-tip, sometimes just build up the white. So I guess I just get a Q-tip and Break it up. Add more water. Extract the water. You can even wash your capping station. Um, just for this video, I guess I can show how to get together. You have to really be careful because that spring has a tendency of falling down. Um, you could use a tool like this to remove it, but you have to be really careful. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. You lose it. So sometimes I'll use a, those um, magnetic tools to grab it. So let's do that right now. See? Right here. Make sure not to lose this because that's what's going to hold your capping station back down. And you can remove it. 
there's a spring holding it and then there's uh, it's kind of hard to see in the video but right here there's two tubes holding it that's the tubes um those are the tubes connected to the capping station or um the motor for the capping station so i'm not gonna remove mine because i just cleaned those tubes recently but pretty much you remove these two tubes right here by my finger and then you could wash um you could wash this piece right here so uh and then there's this spring spring sometimes pops out and then you end up misplacing it so a trick is get a thread just any thread or string at home get the brightest color so what i do is here's my thread and throw these holes on the spring so that way if you misplace if it flies out you can easily find it or just hold on to it the whole time so you can keep trying so here's a thread and so so i still finished cleaning the capping station but um so here's the spring with the thread so that way we don't lose it and what you're gonna do is you can place it on that hook first or that hook um it's up to you which pull and push and then once once it's in place make sure it's in place you can finally pull the string off so that way you don't lose it so there you go um so yeah i'm gonna continue cleaning my capping station just continue to add water right here and the white ink dries up quickly so you could clean it this way i just wanted to show you guys how to um remove it for those who want to completely remove their capping station so here's a cotton swab, dip it in alcohol, and just clean around it. Sometimes there's a lot of ink buildup around. This is the wiper blade. You could also lift that up to clean it. Look how dirty that is. So I just get my cotton swab, move over here, and I'll clean all of this right here. This is buildup ink. I just dip them in alcohol and just clean this whole thing. Remove all those um, dried up ink. Look at. Sometimes you could use a tweezer to remove all this. Let me move my head over. Depending on how you close a printer, this should be up or down. Sometimes if it's up, it'll hit your print head. So um, make sure that happens sometimes if I turn it off during a head cleaning. But if you turn it off as soon as the printer turns on and shut the power in the back, it should be in the right position. alcohol in the packing station too. Okay. Remove. See that white stuff? That's a buildup of white ink. Get a cotton swab and just break it apart. And don't forget to pop your wiper away back down. Continue to clean around the area. So that's pretty much the basis of cleaning. Keep doing this every single time and um, happy printing. I'm gonna continue to clean mine, so uh, thank you for watching the video.